All right, Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shem? How about Shabbat? Shem or Kakwadash? Double honor to the Fasten, others, great millstone. Shalom to the Akimah. They're pushing the word of sincerity and in truth. Yeah, that's the brother Barzar. I want to do a lesson um, pertaining to lobster, you know, and really just a dietary law. You know, I remember uh, a bro years ago in the camp actually did something pertaining to this about how lobster really is uh, classified, you know, was classified back in the day as prison slot, you know. You know, it was basically a, a slave's dish, you know, and as the process of time um, progressed and basically e Esau's turning of things upside down, as it is written in Isaiah, the 29th chapter, surely a turning of things upside down should be esteemed that the potter's clay, he transitioned something that was uh, debaucherous and looked at as a low low cut of meat or a low fo form of eating and made it something that it was uh looked at as high skill or high higher echelons you know and um perverted the masses of the commoners because that's what esau is all about the, the high class is all about uh, uh bewitching and deceiving the poor you know envying the ways that they live as it is written envy not the oppressor neither choose none of the ways so envying his ways and then imposing his thoughts upon you through jealousy and uh, covetousness. You see, that's how the devil gets you each and every time. That's how he got you celebrating Christmas, you know, celebrating his religions, uh, basically drinking the wine as it is written in the scriptures, you know, which is the philosophies and the standard of life that he lives. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump into it. Lobster is a delicacy today, but it was once prison slot. Lobster today is common. On the menus of gourmet restaurants, it's expensive food. This delicious seafood is most commonly enjoyed by the rich and powerful because they are extremely pricey. But do you know that before the 1800s, lobster was considered so undesirable and too plentiful that only those without financial means eat, eat them, such as the poor, slaves, and prisoners. You see, so this was looked at. And it and it's the the, the well-known fact, and, that, and the way you you can recognize through the spirit, of course, you have Leviticus the eleventh eleventh chapter, you have Deuteronomy the fourteenth chapter that goes into the dietary law, that, which the scriptures speak about, not um, things that don't have fins and scales. It's it's, um, it's not you know kosher, you know basically it's not a uh, clean, it's unclean unto you. And if you look at basically how these lobsters and, and these crabs also shrimp. You know these these type of uh you know aquatic creatures operate you see that it's not edible they move like creepy crawlers all right they're creepy crawlers within the water what creepy crawl on land did, you know the most high actually command us you know that we could eat you know you don't eat roaches you know the only thing in the scriptures where it speaks about even with insects you have the um locusts you know but that's the that's an exception you know because what that that type of pro you know uh, uh, insect actually is high in protein. It actually is compatible with your body type. You have to crack these shells, which is a hard exoskeleton, out. You know, with with artificial tools in order to even get the you know like I had Jake Jake be like the succulent meat <laughs> to even get some type of taste out of it. And it tastes like horse shit, man. I remember when I was in when I was a kid and I tried lobster. It was horrible. You know, Jake had more of a perception of crab. You know. But you had demons on you And really with, with all this negative meats that you eat It's always a clean meat that you can actually eat You know you got cod, you got bass, you got snapper You got salmon, you got so many different The Lord gave us You know ample amount of different Food types that we were able to uh, You know for the consumption And the um, The desire of man's Palate or his taste, taste buds But man always chose what Wickedness with the Lord forbid Eating of that you know, which in the ancient times it was it was an actual fruit. That's why the scriptures speak about Eve. And Eve is the main one. You know, just like Eve was the first one to to to, to fall up under the um uh, the you know the the the, the bewitching of, of of the serpent. Eve is the first one now. You know, who's the who's the one that filled these crab shacks up? You know, right now I'm in um, Florida. You know, all these different little South Carolina, you go to all these different little areas. You go to New Orleans and you go to all these different quarters where it got the most debaucherous food. And it's filled up with, with black women, man. You know, so this is Isaiah 59 and 1. 
It says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Why? It says, Because, continuing on, for your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is, which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Yeah, and that's going into the lifestyle that Jake live. And when you um, partake in it, you see it leads to immediate death. That's why eating pork and all these different foods that's abominable it's a reason why the lord called them abominable because what is in your body it gives you high blood pressure pressure you know it gives you a lot of um heavy metals get deposited within within your body you know because like i said a lot that food is not edible you know jake like jake thinks because it tastes good that, that it's going to go down the right way no nah, when it's processing in your body it's not it's going against the grain of which how your body actually processes meat because it's not an edible meat all right They're, that's why you have what bottom feeders you have scavengers and these different animals are tailor-made to just clean up you know possums are tailor-made to clean up you know vultures are tailor-made to just clean up that's why you have what something known as the circle of life for these knucklehead jakes man you got scavengers all right you don't eat scavengers all right you eat a. Uh, uh, scripture speak about animals that chew of the cud all right so isaiah 65 and 4 i'll start at 2 i have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face that sacrifice of in gardens and burn of incense upon altars of brick which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments which eat wet swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels yeah and that's what that gumbo jake love gumbo jake can't resist you know and and that, that's why the lord is going to destroy two-thirds of the nation of israel because a lot of these different jakes they're not trying to shake outside of this kingdom man they're not trying to turn back unto the most High, repent from their ways you know they 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 going deeper in the waters you know, you would think Jake would turn back. Jake is, Jake is, you know, already underwater. They're, they're swimming downhill from there. You know, and I think even in the waters, you have the, 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 the lowest point, which is the Hades layer, man. So Jake is really going head first into a, you know, onto their demise. You know, but I just wanted to have this short and sweet just really just to cut that spirit because really that's poison, man. You know, and, and, and as we understand and recognize what vibrations is 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 for our, our benefit that's how we get stronger and grow in the spirit too you know that's why the scriptures speak about fast and take speaks about poles greens it speaks about the king's meat it speaks about all these different ways and these dynamics of eating because eat food has a uh, spirits to it you know and like i said I just want to condemn that and cut that spirit because the scriptures also speaks about tearing down strongholds so i want to end by giving all praise honor, and glory unto you how by shema by shah by shah the bonus of the pasta, others great millstone. Shalom, Maki.